energy industry has never been under the spotlight the way that it is today. NPower would like you to tell them how they can revolutionise the energy industry. NPower would like you to focus on how the energy industry is changing, what customers want from an energy company now and in the future, and how NPower can differentiate itself from its competitors. Time is of the essence, angels. Resource that could help empower flaunt its staff. Roughly fifty seven percent of the UK population use social networking sites. There are twenty four million active Facebook users in the UK, with a further thirty three million checking at least once a month. There are also about fifteen million UK Twitter users. Here are the numbers of followers on Twitter within the big six companies. And this is the number of Facebook likes. In order to improve the Empower's Facebook page, we suggest adding a competition section that customers could participate in. For example, this Empower challenge is a great way to explore new ideas. By adding a daily tips section, it could make the page more interesting and useful and ensure people keep checking back. A lucky draw competition. This is the most efficient way to attract followers. We could also promote a post or the Empower page on Facebook. The advertisement could be visible on the Facebook front page just like this. The advertising price on Facebook is very reasonable, particularly in the context of potential exposure to millions of its users. We also plan on raising the awareness of the Empower solar panel scheme through the post. Um, this is how we're going to do it. Postal advertising is one of the most direct ways to reach and promote to households. As installing solar panels and joining Empower's feed-in scheme is primarily for current Empower customers, this is ideal as we already have all of our customers' details and addresses. Research conducted in 2010 suggests that 79% of households either read or skim advertising mail sent to their home. Also, 73% of people prefer mail for reading new product announcements. What's more, the 2010 survey also found that 31% of people are less likely to discard mail than they are to delete spam. We intend to use this to make the feed-in scheme information more understandable for the customer. Okay, so no people know that the server panels offered by Empower, but it doesn't mean that they will all use them. Well, Charlie, we have thought about that, and we do believe that people want to use renewables and play their part. But not everybody understands the technology, and some people believe that it's more expensive than it's worth. Oh uh, yes, exactly. This is why we want to help empower our service, which outlines the expenses and uh, benefits of installing solar panels. Solar PV is an area of ongoing research and innovation. Therefore, predictions show an increase of efficiency up to 50% in the long run. Also, electricity price is constantly rising, so the feed-in scheme becomes an attractive option. The actual costs and installation of the panels are also predicted to show a drop as the technology advances, with production prices dropping as the technology becomes more and more commercially available, it is expected that more people will take advantage of the scheme. Also, investing in solar panels brings the cost of the technology down dramatically because of economies of scale. By 2030, the cost of solar should be comparable to those of coal and gas. Here are the current figures for cost and payback time. Excellent, Angels. Wait there, Charlie. We believe there is an opportunity for the Empower to enter a more niche market, um, which covers 8.3 million households in the UK, which is a landlord. As we saw earlier, landlords make up 20% of the target market for the fit in tariff scheme. This is approximately 4.7 million homes. In order to encourage landlords to invest in the feed-in tariff, reduced costs could be offered to customers who install the scheme to more than one home at a time. Initial costs of 10% less for these customers would reduce the payback time from 8 years to approximately 7. After this period, Empower's estimated £856 per annum would continue to be generated making profit for the owner. 
Another incentive that NPower could offer would be a trade-in scheme, new for old. This would prevent potential customers from feeling that the technology they are investing in will be outdated before they achieve payback.